So we need to find out cube root of a given number by using the prime factorization method. So already you got the prime factorization method by using the square and square root. So same concept will apply even to find out the cube root also. If you're not awareness about the prime factorization method, just see the square and square roots topic. Then you'll get clear about the prime factorization method. So I'm not going to discuss much more in this. So directly I'll come to the topic. So first we need to resolve the given number into prime factors. Right? For example, okay, I'll take question. Find the cube root of find the cube root of 9261. Next, we'll see how to test the number to be perfect cube or not, also. So, anyway, we'll use the prime factorization method for both. Now, find the cube root of 9261. So, we need to take 9261 and resolve this number into prime factors. So, product of prime numbers. Make the group in triplet next. Now what you can you can take three table. Because it's not divisible by two, next to three. Three three is a nine and zero eight is a twenty four. Because of two digits you'll get zero here. Seven is a twenty one. Three table one so three zero is a 6 and 9. Again, 3 table takes 3 3 is a 9 43. Now, next prime number is a 5. It's not divisible by 5. Next prime number is 7. So, 7 49 is a 3 43. Again, 7 7 is a 49. 7 1 is a 7. So, first step is we need to resolve the given number into prime factors. Now second step is we need to make the groups in triplets of similar factors. Okay, so after making this 9,261 9,261 is the product of this all prime numbers. 3 into 3 into 3 into 7 into 7 into 7. If you multiply again, you'll get 9,261. So we should write 3, 3 as one set. Okay, resolve into prime factors, then make triplet of each number. So 3 number is 3 times and 7 is 3 times. Then cube root of 9,261 is equals to 3 into 7. So one number only should take. That is 3, 7 is a 21. Fine, 21 is the cube root of 9261. So this is the way we can find out using the prime factorization method. I'll give one more example for testing a number to be perfect cube or not. Now, guess for example, I'm taking a number 2744. Now I need to test this number is a perfect cube or not. So can we write the cube root of this number or not? We need to test. So method is same. Just we need to resolve into prime factors and we'll get the product of prime, of prime factorization method. 2744. It's divisible by 2. You can start doing prime factorization method first. That is 1372. 2 table, 6 uh, 12, 1 carry, 8 6, 2 table, 343, right, again like previous example now, 7 49 are, and 7 7 are 49, 7 1 are 7, so finally I can write 2744 into, is equals to 2 into 2 into 2, and into 7 into 7 into 7. So we can write this is 2 power 3 into 7 power 3. That is 2 into 7 
whole power 3. So 2 7 is so 14 power 3. So 2744 is 14 power 3. So 14 is the cube root of 2744. So we can make by testing whether the number is perfect cube or not also. We need to use only prime factorization method. Similarly, we can say show that some number is not perfect cube. Uh, show that some number is a perfect cube or not. So in this uh, type of examples also we will take similar. I uh, will write the question. Show that 648 is not a perfect So we need to test, uh, we need to show this is not a perfect cube. I'm taking question big size. So cause number is 648. We have to show this is not a perfect cube. So is the method is we should take a prime factorization method first. 648. We'll resolve this into factors, a prime factors. That is two table. 3, 2, 4. Again, 2 table 162, 2 table 81, now it's divisible by 3, 27, sir. again divisible by 3, 9, sir. again 3, 3, sir, 9, and finally 3, 1, sir, 3. So now 648, so 648, I can write product of these all numbers. So 2 into 2 into 2 is one set. Into again 3 into 3 into 3. Extra one more 3 is there. So this is another 3. So it's clearly 648 is not a perfect cube. Because some extra number. Everything should be like triplet. So same number should be 3 times. To say it is a perfect cube. Now 2 is 3 times, 3 is 3 times and extra one more 3. But 3 is 4 times. So clearly it is a not perfect cube. So it's not a perfect cube. We can write. Uh, some other questions which are related to the cube root. For example, find the smallest number find the smallest number by which 1125 be multiplied so that the product is a perfect cube okay so this is the question now find the smallest number by which 11 and 25 be multiplied so that perfect that product is a perfect cube so what number is the we need to multiply to make this a perfect cube so take 11, 25 and start uh, make result into prime factors. So it's divisible by 5. By 11, 25. So it's uh, 5 table and same time 2 table or 3 table also you can take. So starting with 3 table you can take 3. Because it's uh, divisible by 3. First prime number is 3. Prime number is 2, but 2 is not uh, divisible with this number, so next to 3. 3, 5 is a 5. Uh, how much you can take? It's 11, 25, right? So 3, 3 is a 3, 3 is a 9. 2 carry, 22, 7 is a 21, 5 is a 15. 3 table, 1, 25. Now 5 table, 5, 25 is a. 
1125 I can write 3 into 3 into 5 into 5 into 5 so if you observe here how much part is less now 5 into 5 into 5 is one set but 3 into 3 into 3 so only two numbers so we need extra one more place should be 3 here so additional 3 we need to multiply so it's clearly to make it perfect cube it must be multiplied by 3 So, which is the gap which is less that one number only we need to multiply to make it a perfect cube. So, we can say that number also, right? If I take 1125 into 3, 5, 7, so 3375. Nothing but this is a perfect cube. You can test. Okay, this is the question what we need to multiply so that to perfect cube now some questions will ask what is the smallest number we need to divide okay I'll give you one more question so what is the number we need to divide find the smallest number by which Okay, here number question I'm taking eight seven eight 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 thousand seven hundred eighty eight must be divided so that the quotient is a perfect. Is a perfect cube. Yeah, it's clear. So, what is the smallest number <coughs> by which 8788 must be divided so that the quotient should be perfect cube? This is the question. So, we'll take 8788, start with the prime factorization method. Uh, resolve this number into prime factors. Take two table. <coughs> I'm doing directly four, three, nine, four, two, one, nineteen is nine, seven. Now this two thousand one hundred ninety-seven is not divisible by three, five, seven, and eleven. Next to thirteen. It is by only 13 table. 13, 1, 16, 9, sir. 13, 13, sir. Fine. So, 8, 7, 8, 8. I can write 2 into 2 into 13 into 13 into 13. So 13 into 13 into 13 is already one set. Now this is extra. Which is extra that if we divide then it may, must be it become a perfect cube. So clearly to make it perfect cube it must be divided by 2 into 2. That is equals to 4. Okay, If you divide with this 4 then the remaining is a quotient is nothing but 13 into 13 into 13. No, that is obviously 2,097. Fine. So this is the way we can find out what number should be multiplied or divided. Next we will see how to find out the cube root of fractions at the same time decimal numbers also.